Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready to pick what I'm gonna read this month! <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to TBR Cluedo, my TBR game that we play monthly. It's themed off of Super Cluedo or Clue, if you're American or Canadian, maybe has Clue as well. I don't know, it's Cluedo to me, okay? <laughs> different rooms correlate to different genres and then I get a reading prompt and I have to read a book that fits that reading prompt in that genre. For the books, the weapons don't apply to genre. March has been the most books I've ever read, ever. <laughs> In a month. So I'm feeling such good vibes for April. I'm feeling really excited. There's a few vlogs that are scaring me a bit. There's a few that are really exciting me and we're gonna chat about some of the books that I'm gonna read, be reading this month. Well, some of the books I might have no plans to read that we have to put in TV you know, and I have to work them in if I can. We shall see. Let's just get into the first rolls. I don't have anything else to tell you so let's just get going. Okay, time for roll number one. Person number four, which is pink over here. Let's see how many we roll. We've got two and a one. Okay, let's just go one. That is number 30, which is the wild card. Oh my God, I have not got wild card for ages. Yes, okay, that's good. Roll one was a wild card. I cannot remember the last time we had a wild card. I love wild card. <laughs> I can read anything, anything. It's not constrained by genre, by prompt. I can pick anything. So pick me, choose me, love me. And the problem is, I actually don't know a lot of what I'm gonna be reading this month yet, or if there are, there are certain videos where if I tell you even like one more book than I've already told you for the video, you'll know what it is and I don't want you to know. For this, I was thinking, what can I pick? Like there's two big vlogs that I don't currently know what I'm reading for them. And I was like, oh God, what do I pick? But then I remembered that I really need to finish my reread of the Wayward Children series this month. I need to read Come Tumbling Down, Across the Green Grass Fields and Where the Drowned Girls Go. So these are my wild card pick. I started in January. I did a little readathon with my patrons and I was vlogging me rereading the Wayward Children series for them. One thing led to another, I think then it was my birthday, then I got ill and then I've been kind of behind ever since with life after getting ill and so I've never finished my reread that I was doing at the end of January of the Wayward Children series. So I really need to just read these three books this month and get that vlog, I'm doing a vlog of my reread of it for my patrons, get that to them. So that is what my wild card pick is. Is. I love these. I gave these all five stars. I mean, I love the Wayward Children series with my whole heart. So I'm really excited to reread them. And then I will soon read Lost in the Moment and Found. Well, I don't know that. I just believe in my soul that I will soon read Lost in the Moment and Found. So I thought, even though you're not going to see me reread these, that doesn't mean I am still going to read them. They can go on the TBR. So that's what I'm putting on there. Roll number two. Person number five, which is white over here in Thriller. See how many we roll. We've got a one and a five. What can we get to in that? Oh my god, the cats are kissing. You guys can't see what I can see. Hey Mika, don't walk over the board. Don't walk over the board. Hi. Is this so interesting? I gotta find out what I'm gonna read. Right, what was I doing? Yes, seeing how many what we can get to with that. Okay, we've got a one and a five. Where can we get to with that? One, two, three, no, that's four. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That is number 25, which is a book that matches my outfit right now. For the record, I'm right now I'm wearing like a blue jumper and <laughs> blue leggings. You can't see the leggings. That's just my foot. No, <laughs> blue leggings. Roll two was a thriller that matched my outfit when I was filming the rolls. And the cover, I mean, I believe all of this book's covers are quite blue, but I believe it particularly the UK one. I haven't bought it yet, okay? I need to get it. I'm just like in denial about mm, doing this video, so. <laughs> I haven't bought it yet. But I'm gonna be reading The Last Thing He Told Me, which is a thriller. All I really know about it is that we're following this woman whose husband goes missing and she's with his stepdaughter and they're trying to figure out what's going on. I think the last thing he told her was to look after his daughter. Secrets from this man's life start appearing. Was he really who he said he was? Did he have this whole secret other life? What is going on? A movie is just about to come out, which looks really good. So I'd like to read the book. Well, I am gonna read the book before I watch the film. I think the film's coming out in like a 
couple months. I don't really know when. I don't keep up to date with dates. <laughs> I still haven't watched Daisy Jones, for God's sake. Guys, I haven't watched Daisy Jones. My mum, this woman, okay, I gotta tell you this. We're gonna watch it together, because she read the book and loved it. But she read one bad review in The Guardian, and now whenever I say to her we need to watch it, she goes, oh, it's been so panned. Everyone's hated it. This woman has read one, one bad review. One bad review, she's like, oh, it's been so universally panned. This woman can say anything with conviction and it sounds like she's correct. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. I'm like, everyone else has loved it. <laughs> You read one review, that is not universally panned. Anyway, so yes, I am excited to read this. I don't know too much about it. I know that it's won like a Goodreads Awards before, but I haven't had a ton of booktubers talk about it and their opinion. I get the sense it was like a big kind of thriller for the masses, but I can't remember, maybe I missed, maybe I wasn't on booktube when people were talking about this, but I don't know what a lot of people thought, thought of it. So yes, going to be reading that this month as well. Roll, what is this, number three. <laughs> Number seven, which is brown. Okay, let's try and get the rose prompt if we can. Oh, got a four and a six. Can we get to that? Yeah, we can. I think we just go one, two, three, four. There we go. We got the rose prompt. Roll three was the rose prompt. So if you don't know, when, oh my God, hello. When you join my Patreon, everyone gets to pick two books that they would like me to read off of my own TBR. It gets put into this jar and when it's the rose prompt, we pick it out and we read it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Actually, I need to get my laptop so I can see who's picked what books. The rose prompt fills me with such nerves, but I also have such faith in my patrons <laughs> that I feel like we've had pretty good luck with it so far. Uh, um, apprehensive, nervous, bit scared, also weirdly calm perhaps on the verge of hysteria. So let's just pick one out and see what we get. Like I said, I'm hoping that whatever I pick out, I can fit into one of those vlogs. That I don't know what I'm gonna be reading yet. Okay, let's reach on in. Okay, I've got 10. <laughs> I'm trying to just pick one out. Okay, I've got it. It may be, we've had this before. Last time we did it, we had like 10 that I've already read. Okay. What is that? Ghostwood song. Interesting. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm pretty sure that's wrapped up. Let me see who said that. Jordan has said it. Just Jordan. Just Jordan has chosen Ghostwood Song. I've got to find that now, you guys. I'm pretty sure it's wrapped up. Oh my God. Why couldn't have it been something that wasn't wrapped up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel very attacked. Relax. Oh, I found it. That was pretty easy. It was like the third book I looked at. So, Just Jordan. It's funny, there's some books in there, like Finney Donovan is Killing It. I don't know, there's loads more that like 10,000 people have chosen. And I feel like a lot of the time we just get a book that one person chose, which I think is interesting. What are the odds of that? Okay, here we go. So, we have got Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. Now, I did read The Rest of the Stark by Erica Waters at the end of last year, and it did make it onto my least favorite book of last year video, so I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I don't know much about it. I know one of my patrons, other patrons, Melissa, loved it. We've got a cursed instrument. Her brother's just been accused of murder. Does she unearth the fiddle and nightmares that sang her father to the grave so she can speak to the dead and clear her brother's name? Or watch the only family she has splinter to pieces? Okay. <laughs> I didn't love The Rest is Dark, but I feel like a lot of people said to me when I read that, I still think you could like Ghostwood Song, but if I don't like this, me and Eric Waters probably aren't gonna vibe. But I love her synopses and her books all sound so atmospheric and incredible and immersive and wonderful. So that's that. <laughs> We're gonna read in Ghostwood Song. Oh my God, Jordan. I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that one. Okay. Okay, we're reading Ghostwood Song. I will try and fit that into one of my vlogs this month. Okay, we're on number four. Person number one, which is green. Oh, what if we can get the glasses as well? Okay, how many do we roll? One, two, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, yahoo! We got the glasses. So, roll number four was the glasses weapon. And the glasses, if you haven't seen before, I've only done it a few times. I have to scroll through my Instagram and the first book that I see that I own I have to read. <laughs> Unless I reserve the right that if it's a book that I have set aside for like a set video that I have to read in that video, then we, we won't read it. But otherwise, 
we're reading that. So I'm gonna go, we'll start trying to go through my timeline, but if not, we might have to go through people's stories. I follow a lot of non-bookish accounts, so you're gonna see that right now. So I don't know how good our luck will be. Last time we did this, so we've got like Secret London posting something, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> last time we did this, we got Carrie Soto is back, which I loved and was incredible. Uh, so I'm hoping for something good from this. So, okay, this is not books, everyone. <laughs> We've got Daisy Jones. <laughs> I have to watch Daisy Jones. Oh. Oh, okay, there's books there I own. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Reese's Book Club. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, let's have a look at what is there that I own. There is... Oh my god, the last thing he told me. I could just... I could have just used that for this! Anyways, Honey and Spice. Shit, am I going to be reading Honey and Spice? <laughs> I think that's the only one there that I own, yeah, that I haven't read, other than the last thing he told me. Well, <laughs> can I just double up? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I'm allowed. No, I don't, I don't... I don't... No, I'm not allowed. I know I'm not allowed. Not that I don't want to read Honey and Spice. Okay, we're just going to read Honey and Spice. We're just going to read it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going to be reading Honey and Spice by Bolly Babalola. I have heard such wonderful things about this romance. I feel like it's going to be a romance that I give five stars. So many people have loved it. Like I've said many times, I follow Bolly Babalola on Twitter. I love her commentary. I don't watch Love Island, but I used to like basically watch it through her commentary on it. I think she's one of the funniest people on Twitter. So I am feeling good about this. I think it's set at like a UK university and they just fall in love and I've heard such wonderful things. So I'm actually really excited. Okay, I could have not read this for ages had TBR Cluedo not made me read it. So I actually, I something about these weapons, bro, it like forces me to read books. Well, that is the idea of TBR Cluedo, Megan. <laughs> Person number three, which is, what is that? Red, <laughs> red person up here in historical. Let's see how many we roll. Oh my gosh. We got a six and a five. Let's just go one, two, three, four, five, which is number eight, which is a 2022 release. Roll number five was a historical that was a 2022 release and this is a choice that I gave to my patrons to vote on. So they vote on one round of TBR Cluedo every month and then that ends up being our book club pick for the month. And let me tell you, sometimes we have like two, two ones that run away with the vote, right? This time it was a fairly even split between a lot of the books, but we had two books that up until almost the last moment were drawn. Okay, and then it's come down to one vote. So the books that I gave them the choice of between were Wild and Wicked Things by Francesca May, Kaike by Vishnavi Patel, The Night Ship by Jess Kidd, and Take My Hand by Deline Perkins Valdez. And it was Wild and Wicked Things and Kaike that it, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That's how I've seen other people pronounce it. Yeah, it was pretty much these two that were drawn up until the last moment. And then right at the last moment, one more person voted and tipped the scales. My vote was for Kaike, but the one that won was well done, Wicked Things by Francesca May. So that's what we're going to be reading for the book club. I can see why it won because it's one of the most like evocative, like cool sounding atmospheric books, but I haven't heard the best things. It hasn't got the best rating on Goodreads, which I feel like that one did. But anyways. I'm not fuming. I'm like, I'm a little bit, yeah, no, I'm bothered. I'm bothered. I don't want to turn you off of it. It's set in 1920s. It weaves a dazzling tale of dark magic, romance, and murder. I am still really excited for this. I bought this kind of on a whim in Waterstones like last year, and I still think I could love it. We've got witches, we've got these glittering 1920s parties. It sounds very like Great Gatsby and it's kind of parties and like American wealth and all of that. So yeah, I'm really intrigued by this. Brimming with romance and gilded with danger. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this intoxicating story lingers like a deep, dark wine. Wow, what a vibe. So yeah, we're going to be reading Wild and Wicked Things for the book club in April. If you want to join, the link is always down below for the Patreon. And I'm excited. I'm intrigued. I think like this one could be one to have a good discussion about. And we've had such good luck this year. I don't want to like toot my own horn. But like after struggling last year, I feel like with the book club picks, we've had three really strong picks at the start of this year. So either this is going to continue the train you know, the good vibes train, or this is gonna ruin us <laughs> and give us bad vibes. Okay, time for our final roll. I feel like this has gone really fast. Person number two, which is purple down here in romance. Let's see how many we roll. 
got a three and a five. Okay, we just go one, two, three to number four, which is a book I've bought because of a booktuber. Okay, interesting. And then the final role was a romance that I have bought because of a booktuber. And here's the thing, right? I <laughs> I think I need to change the terminology of this one is like a book that I've bought because of booktube. Because often I'll hear this person talk about a book and this person talk about a book and like their opinions together will like, you know, make me want to buy a book or I just hear about it everywhere from different booktubers and I'm like, okay, I need to buy that. I very rarely buy a book just because of one booktuber. It does happen, but usually I'm getting books because I've heard little bits here and little bits there and little bits there that's made me intrigued about a book. So that's what we're doing. It's like, I've just seen this book everywhere and heard a lot of people talk about it. So I have chosen Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. I'm gonna be reading this this month and I'm very excited. I just know this is Regency England, romance, fay, fairy tales. She's got half a soul. It makes me so excited, you guys don't even understand. I have never read like a modern book about Regency England romance. Like it's just such a vibe. It's such a vibe. I'm so beyond, beyond, beyond excited for this. I just feel like this is gonna be a five star and I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna adore it. And I'm gonna eat it up and it's become, gonna become my favorite like romance fantasy series of all time. It's a cozy fantasy, which I'm always at the moment looking out for more of because I feel like cozy fantasy is my shit and I was placed on this earth to read cozy fantasy. That's generally how I, uh, how I feel. So that was a big reason I got this because people were talking about it in the same breath of books like uh, Legends and Lattes. So that's really why I picked this up because I wanted more cozy fantasy to read. But yeah, we're gonna be reading this this month and I'm so excited. <laughs> so there we have it everyone. That was my April it was April, right? I have been saying the right thing the whole time. Yes. April TVR Cluedo. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, please, what you thought of any of these books. I would love to know. I feel like oh, my heart pressure, my, no, blood pressure, heart rate. I, two things there, Megan. <laughs> it's always higher after TVR Cluedo. I always feel like adrenaline because <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, especially when I do the things like the rose prompt or the glasses where it's like, okay, that's just decided what I was reading. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.